Apple's newest release, the AirPods 4 has raised a lot of eyebrows, and not just because of its improved design. With many of the same features found in the AirPods Pro second generation, like active noise cancellation, transparency mode, and the H2 chip, all packed into a smaller case at a lower price point, it seems like a no-brainer. But is it really worth saving money by choosing the AirPods 4 over the AirPods Pro second generation? Let me dive in and explore how the AirPods 4 might render the AirPods Pro 2 unnecessary. This is KT Gaming. Let's dive in. The AirPods 4 bring a significant price drop to Apple's wireless earbud lineup. Priced at $179 compared to the Apple Pro 2's $249, these new AirPods have virtually all of the features you loved in the Pro version, such as adaptive audio, conversation awareness, and even ANC. They are also equipped with the same H2 chip giving you the latest in sound processing technology from Apple. At first glance, it may seem that the only differences are the low price and the slightly smaller charging case, which supports faster charging than its predecessor. But there is more to consider when deciding between these two options. Our critical distinction between the AirPods 4 and the AirPods Pro 2 lies in their design. While both offer ANC and transparency mode, the Pro 2 silicone ear tips provide a more snug fit which plays a vital role in noise isolation and sound quality. The ear tips help create a seal in your ear, making the ANC and transparency mode more efficient. Without the silicone ear tips, the AirPods 4 may not provide the same immersive sound experience as the Pro 2. Users who need strong noise cancellation, like those working in loud environments, might notice the difference immediately. While the AirPods 4 ANC is impressive for open ear earbuds, it just doesn't quite reach the level of the Pro 2. If you dislike the in-ear design of the Pro models, the open-ear design of the AirPod 4 could be more comfortable for you. They are lighter and may feel less intrusive during long listening sessions. However, this comes at a cost of fit stability. The Pro 2, with its adjustable ear tips, ensures a secure fit, especially during activities like working out or running. So while the AirPods 4 may feel more comfortable initially, they may not stay in place of security, especially if you're active. Apple claims that the AirPods 4 may be more comfortable, but for me personally, I always find that silicone ear tip headphones always give me the best comfort. Ones without it, like they don't, you know, like the AirPods Pro second generation is the ones I have now, and I could easily keep them in my ear for like two to three hours max without getting uncomfortable with them feeling like, you know, they're annoying being in my ear for so long. When it's not silicone ear tips, when the headphones don't have that, that's when I feel like that more faster, like maybe in 30 minutes to an hour, which, hey, it's good and bad in its own way, right? Let me know what you guys think about that. In terms of battery life, the AirPods Pro 2 offers six hours of listening time with active noise cancellation on, compared to the AirPods 4, four hours. However, both models provide around 30 minutes of total listening time when factoring in the charging case. If you prioritize longer listening sessions between charges, the Pro 2 has a slight edge here, but for most users, the difference may not be significant. One advantage that the AirPods 4 have over the Pro 2 is their smaller, more compact case, which also features faster charging. While both cases now support USB-C, the AirPods 4's case has been redesigned for convenience making it a better option if portability is a key factor for you. This improvement, however, might not be enough to sway Pro 2 users to switch. At the end of the day, $70 price difference between the AirPods 4 with ANC and the AirPods Pro 2 may not be enough to justify choosing the former if you prioritize features like superior ANC, better sound quality, and a more secure fit and more comfortable in my personal opinion. However, if you are looking for many of the same features without paying top dollar, the AirPods 4 offer an impressive package at a lower cost. The AirPods 4 are a fantastic option for casual listeners who want great sound quality and noise cancellation at a lower price, but if you're someone who needs the best ANC, sound isolation, and a more stable and comfortable fit, again in my personal opinion, the AirPods Pro 2 are still worth the extra investment. The choice is ultimately yours and comes down to how you prioritize comfort, fit, and sound quality in your daily life. Now guys, for me personally, I think that the AirPods Pro 2 are like honestly overall way better because you get good sound quality already 
there's great active noise cancellation, sound isolation, and a more stable fit and comfortable. So like at the end of the day, the AirPods 4, really the most noticeable differences is the battery life, smaller AirPod case, and maybe, oh yeah, and the no silicone ear tips, which are honestly a negative in my personal opinion. Any headphone with a silicone tip is a good sign. That means it's gonna be comfortable. But guys, those are just my thoughts. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more updates on all things tech and gaming. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.